Okay, yeah. Uh, thank you. So, uh, yeah, thanks so much. And so today I will uh, present uh, the uh, uh, first place team to present like our, some of the ideas from, from our work. And uh, so we'll first go over a little bit background of me and my teammates, and then also like each uh, talk to some of the uh, data that we get from Kaiko, uh, from the Kaiko discussion. And then we'll talk about uh, the model selection, the time management that we did to our models, and also how do we do the candidate, how do we generate the candidate answers, and how do we make uh, make the modifications to it in order to fit the context. And, uh, and also some other stuff that we took, we, which helped us a lot. Uh, so my name is uh, Zhong Lin, and uh, I got my bachelor, uh, bachelor degree from uh, UW Medicine in math and computer science. And uh, I got a PhD in mathematics from UCSD. And right now I'm a quad uh, in a bicep company. And uh, another, of, uh, so the leader of our team is uh, Winter from uh, CI Jiaozhou University. And uh, his, uh, his, uh, his major is in CS, and uh, he also has a lot of uh, experience in tuning the uh, LLMs. And here's a conversation that he had before. Yeah, and that's our background. And and uh, here's a summary of some uh, main uh, modifications that we made that also, uh, especially to the uh, to fit the context. The model that we use is the deep seek mass uh, model, and uh, so which is uh, which is developed upon the uh, deep seek coder, I believe. And we also utilize the dual GPU inference uh, uh, in order to uh, improve the accuracy, and we will talk about a little bit more of this in the uh, next step. And uh, we, uh, I think we put like a, a decent uh, effort, a uh, uh, time manager for the car text. And uh, while we implement a time manager class, which can help us to dynamically allocate the time at the times for each problem in order to uh, uh, increase the time efficiency. As well as uh, we uh, reduce the maximum attempts for e for the problems that uh, with the ASY, yeah, the latex, uh, yeah, the latex, uh, sorry, the latex script, because uh, the ASY should be the uh, asymptote uh, environment in the latex, which should be related to the geometric uh, problems, and we have relatively low confidence uh, also those questions. And uh, besides of those, we also like manually uh, do some weight adjustment because we found the mo the models are likely to return some answers randomly for uh, with some like small integers. And I, I I guess just like some of my students, you know, <laughs> what 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 they don't know, they you know like zero is might be some good guess for a lot of problems. So the models sometimes also do that. So we want to reduce the weight of that. And lastly, uh, which, uh, what that really helped us a lot is for every experiment that we run the model, we maintain the detailed logs, and we observe the result from the each experiment, which can give us a lot of intuitions about the output and the, how the model is really, really answer the questions. So this is a summary. and. And uh, sex to uh, I mean because for the cortex we only allow two attempts to submit the models for each day each team. Uh, sex to a discussion with the Kaggle. Um, so uh, so they uh, they just uh, get uh, some similar uh, similar diff difficult questions uh, from AMC twelve A or maybe some other like uh, mass cortex and. Uh, such that we have some, uh, we have we get a chance for some local training, and uh, from the original post, um, he or she uh, thought like the MC twelve A problems are a problem set that uh, uh, is similar to uh, what we have. I mean, similar means that at least we think it's similar, which means that the uh, the performance of our model are this uh, problem set. 
is similar to what we have from the public uh, the public uh, problems and has for some uh, local trainers at the local op uh, observations we use the latest amc 12a problems as a uh, as a local benchmark i guess and now uh, let's uh, dive a little bit deeper into the model selection. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we use the DeepSeq uh, Mass 7B, which is one of the models that uh, was tuned specifically to solve some uh, mathematical problems. And for two of the uh, randomness parameters, we just use the default ones, the temperature at the top P to be the default. And we allow the max cost, maximum tokens to be 248, but uh, later we'll see that even if we set uh, this to be a rel relatively large numbers, we'll also have some other limitations such that the model will never take a input of this long. And uh, we think this is a good model to start with uh, because uh, of the mass benchmark, uh, which is a public benchmark for all the models that uh, is tested for the performance of the mathematics solving, uh, mass problem solving. It has a pretty decent performance, and that's why we start with this model. And uh, we also like utilize that uh, utilize the uh, two GPUs that you, uh, in order to maximize the self consistency. Uh, that is because our strategy is we allow this uh, we allow the model to have a maximum of twenty one attempts for each problem at first. For GPU, and uh, after we get all the twenty-one times, uh, the, of course we have some valid answers. We might have some invalid answers, but uh, we will have a vote, and the answer with the most vote will be our final output. And of course, like for most cases, if we have more attempts, then that will be better. Uh, that's why we uh, use two GPUs, and uh, we run them separate, you know, uh, parallelly. And uh, that this could increase the repetitions. Like uh, initially, we set it to be 21 as a max, but the two GPU you could increase it to 30 to 40. And the reason that it is not directly doubled, uh, we, we will explain it later. And uh, that is because uh, we we have some early stop uh, criteria such that uh, we we can allocate the time more wisely. Um, uh, as I mentioned, time management is one of the things that we uh, we have some uh, you know different ideas, and uh, so because the rule of the cortex is uh, we cannot you know solve all the problems at the same time, so we must do it like one by one, and uh, so you know like if we just uh, imagine like you know like if I'm solving a uh, exam. The my strategy is I will go over all the problems, and then I will always start with the ones that I have high confidence, and I might skip the ones that I have you know little idea. And uh, for this one, we want to mimic this idea. However, we don't have the ability to see all the problems at first. So what we do is oh sorry, could we go to the next slide first? So uh, so which means the first uh, strategy is we want to skip. The, diff the difficult problems to the models. And as I mentioned, uh, because uh, we have a local uh, data set and we found that the model has a really poor performance of the geometry questions, which uh, which could be defined as like using the AIS web package the latex. And hence we don't want to, you know, uh, spend a, uh, let the model spend a lot of time on solving these problems. And as uh, instead of the 21 maximum attempts, we only allow of, of three repetitions for each one, regardless of the validness of the outputs. And uh, this can help us to uh, allocate more time to the problems that we have higher confidence. And another thing is, uh, since we can only do it one by one, and uh, it is possible that uh, we we will spend much much more time for the Questions that comes first, and uh, we don't have a chance to the to do the problems that comes later, and uh, which might be easier to the model. So, as 
uh, has we want to uh, uh, can we go back to the previous page? Uh, has uh, we want to allocate the time uh, dynamically? So time manager is a class that we implemented to uh, accomplish uh, this idea, which is uh, the idea is just after solving each problem, we will record, uh, we, we will keep track of like how many, uh, how much time that we already used and how much time we uh, we left. Initially, we have 21 maximum times per GPU, but if we spend more time uh, at before, then we want to decrease the maximum maximum of times that we allocate to the subsequent uh, problems, such that at least we have a chance to do, uh, you know, to try the problems that comes later, and which might be easier. And uh, so this is the time manager class. And uh, also from the computation perspective, uh, can we go to the slides then after? Uh, yeah. From the computation perspective, uh, since uh, what we do the parallel uh, inference, uh, we can, uh, as I said, like we keep, keep track of the log files. Uh, we found, found out that one GPU often finishes faster. And uh, I mean, one means like random one is this one or the other one. And uh, why it finishes, the, it's just wait there and do nothing. So this is kind of like a waste of time. And uh, in most of cases, like uh, we don't believe that we need to use like you know all the you know two times twenty one or times for each question. So we uh, defined some like early stop here criteria, which is that if uh, after you know after one GPU finished the work, that we can see if any single valid answer has a really good account. So, uh, you know, like the higher the count the answer is, that that means that the model has higher confidence of the correctness of the answer. And if this count is larger than five then we will just stop the uh, work of the other GPU and uh, do the next one. And of course, we also want to take account of the output of the other GPU, uh, which means that if the total cut of the two GPUs is larger than seven, then we will also terminate the current running and uh, do the next question. And that because this is some uh, something that we did, like the model has higher confidence. And uh, we also have some other, uh, you know, uh, small modifications. For example, like if the model uh, has some early stage confidence uh, for the answers, for example, like, you know, for example, like what the answer one comes pretty often for the first 10 attempts, that that means the model is pretty confident that one is the correct answer, that we will, uh, we have a criteria to skip some of the attempts so that we will not uh, we will not, you know, do the 21 attempts. We might only do maybe, uh, like, you know, maybe 15 instead. And all of these are for the time management. Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, we can go to the next page. And now uh, uh, for the generation of each candidate, uh, since uh, the deep segment is, uh, uh, developed a part of deep seek coder, uh, which means that it has the ability to write the code as well as directly provide the answer. So we have two approach. We can either uh, uh, we can either uh, use the like the COT, the term of thought, like the uh, the model to directly provide the answer from the text, and we can also ask it to write a Python code. And uh, I mean, after it provides the Python code, it will like continue. Uh, it continues to uh, you know analyze the answer from the text, and we can uh, get the Python code script. And we have another code to run this code and get the answer. Uh, so, which means that if we are using the you know, I'll just call this the uh, code prompt. And if we are using the code prompt, that, that means we will potentially have one answer from the Python code and one answer from the uh, analyzed text. And if both outputs are valid, which means that uh, it has no running error, and uh, it is not a decimal, it, it is not a complex number, then we will 
like uh, we will keep track, uh, we will take it as a candidate, even if it, there is a possibility that they don't match each other. We still keep both of them in the candidates. And uh, so, uh, so this is the general idea. Uh, we also make some modifications of the models uh, uh, for the cloud text. Uh, we can go to the next page. Uh, so the first, the first one is the limitations of uh, the opportunity, the opportunities of the LLM to correct its code. So if we are using the, oh sorry, there's one thing that I forgot to mention. So because we have two different uh, approach, so we can either use the COT or maybe we can use the code. So uh, we uh, we start uh, we start to choose it randomly, and. In order to avoid, you know, like we choose one approach extensively over the other one. The every time when we choose it randomly, the one that appeared less will will have a higher probability to be chosen for the next time. So that uh, after all, there is a relatively balanced, uh, uh, you know, number of approaches from two. And uh, if the chosen prompt is the code prompt. The, uh, there is a possibility that the output of the code is invalid. And if this happens, we only allow at a, a maximum of three opportunities for the LLM to correct its code. And uh, that is because, uh, after all, we believe that uh, first, the in general, the LLM performs much worse if uh, you know if the tokens like increases, uh, you know, increases uh, exceed some limit, I guess. And then, especially like the model that we chose is a rel relatively small model compared to some uh, like you know really large models, which because this model is trained specifically specifically for math. So we thought it per performs really poorly if the tokens input uh, are really low. And has we set the limit to like, you know, we only have three opportunities to modify the code. And after that, e even if it can still modify it, but we found out that the output is uh, really bad. So this is the first one and uh, we can go to the next page. Uh, the second one is uh, like by observing the uh, log files, we found out that uh, the models really likes to uh, give, you know, like if it has some no idea or maybe just put, put you some like random answers that from zero to five are the six integers that it really likes. And uh, we, we cannot determine like, you know, if the answer is really six, zero to six, uh, sorry, zero to five, or maybe it's just some random guys of small smaller numbers. Hence, when we do the vote, we decrease the weight from a normal weight one to one fourth. So that uh, if it's some randomly generated answers, that it will not matter the true result. And uh, we can go to the next page. And uh, the last one is actually also, uh, uh, actually this is a little bit more about the time manager, which is, as I, uh, so after the model provides the code output, so it provides a code output, Put first, and then it provides another answer directly analyzes the text. And we you we just like uh, get a script of the code and run it. And if we get a invalid output from the code, then we just stop the model from the code running because uh, it's just a waste of time, and uh, we just let it to modify it if it not ex exceeds the limit of the corrections. And of course. There is a possibility that uh, the chain of thought approach might also provide some answer that is not valid. And if we see anything like that, uh, we'll just take it, we'll just consider it as a invalid answer and we go to the next attempt. So, uh, yeah, so this is for this slide. And uh, the other part is. Uh, yeah, so the other part is, as I said, like we uh, we did like keep you the log files of all the experiments are really helpful for us, which provide us many 
iterations of you know how the model is doing and also uh, how can it help us to adjust the models. And uh, we also uh, so this is a uh, you know how we perform our, our local uh, data set. So the experiment score was around twenty one. We uh, since we also keep track of the you know the log, we also observe that if you know the thirty two is the number of at least the correct answer appears in the output for one time during all the, I mean, among all the valid outputs. And the 23 is, uh, it appears at least two times. And of course, uh, the last the last is, again, like competition is some, I believe it is some, needs some luck, and especially there are some randomness for all the, uh, for all, all these of this. So we, uh, we use different things to see, you know, how, if our model's performance will, be different a lot for different seat. And uh, after all, we found out that for the public uh, leaderboard, so the difference will not be larger than three point. Uh, than three point. Yeah, that's uh, that's for this page. Yeah, and uh, that's just uh, yeah. I think that's all for the general uh, go through of of models. And uh, thanks a lot.